Hi, in this session, I'm going to cover how to create a dynamic named range. A dynamic named range, basically what we want to do is we want to select a range. We have a, want to have a selection for a range of cells and give it a name. We can do that either in the name box here or we're going to formulas, name manager, new name. And what that does for us, so instead of instead of selecting the range of cells and maybe wanting to create a chart or a pivot table, we just would reference that name that we gave it. Now with a dynamic name range, if we wanted to add additional columns later on or had data to add to the additional rows, we wouldn't have to go back and select the range of cells since a dynamic name range will adjust for any additional columns or inner rows that's already going to be done and we're going to go old school here because with the Excel 2007 and Excel 2010 we can actually do this through the tables feature but we're going to use the offset function to do this now with the offset function I'll go ahead and start into it right now with the offset function it takes five parameters and the first parameter is the reference. Where are we going to start off at? We're going to start off at A1 here in this example. I'll press A F4 key to give it an absolute cell reference. And with the rows and columns, we don't want to offset it. We don't want to off start any rows down or any columns to the right. So we're just going to either provide a zero or in this instance we can just press our comma, it's going to take us on to the next parameter which is columns and comma which will take us on to the height. So with the height, how many how many rows down do we want to go? What we want to do is we want to count all non-blank cells and that's going to be done with another function called the count a function. So it counts the number of cells in the range that are not empty. And we want to count any of the, all the cells that are not empty in column A. So we're going to choose a colon A. I'll press F4 to provide it with a absolute cell reference. Close that parentheses and we're going to go into the width. The width is how many columns do we want to count to include in the offset. And, and when I say count, we also are going to add a count A function here too. And we're going to count the non-blank cells in row 1. So 1 colon 1, F4 to pr put into an absolute cell reference, close parentheses, close parentheses, uh, control enter to stay in that cell. And let me go ahead and bring the function window up, the function arguments windows up, and kind of describe what we're doing here with the height and width. So as you see with the formula, the count A formula, it's counted 433 rows already and it's counted three rows, three columns, excuse me, three columns here. So one, two, three. And 433 rows is this last one here. So that's what the count A function is doing. Let me go ahead and cancel out of this. What we want to do when we create a dynamic name range is take this offset function. Let me go and select that and do control C to copy. Ex press escape to get out of edit mode because I don't want to edit this formula anymore but I've copied it and I'm going to go into name manager and create a new name. So I'm going to call this country. And this is going to refer to that offset function. Control V to paste that in there and click OK. And now we see our offset function is here. Now as we, let me go ahead and close that, as we add if we wanted to add any columns in here, any columns of data in here or we want to add additional rows, that offset function will pick it up and include that data that's be, to be used later on in uh, other features. So what I'm going to do here is create a pivot table. I'm going to go under insert pivot table and my table and range. Normally if you want to create a pivot table, you can you, your pivot table, you, what we want to do is kind of select it, right? But in our instance, we're not going to do that. Let me go and delete. We're going to put that name in here and the easiest way to get that name in there you can either type it if you remember or just press F3 and it will come up with a paste name window and I called it country so I'm going to go ahead and add it in there and I'm going to add this 
pivot table in a new worksheet. And let's just say I'm, I'm going to just populate this pivot table. The country name here, the year over here, maybe the population over here. And not make it a count of population, we'll just make it a sum. So it will bring the actual numbers of those populations in there. And let's turn off the grand totals. We don't need that here. We'll turn off the grand totals for rows and columns. Oops. Off rows and columns. All right. So we see here that we have. Let me go ahead and sort from maybe. Uh, actually, I won't sort now. So let's say that we have our pivot table here, and we wanted to add a new row here, new column here. All right. We say maybe this is going to be uh, something that will say if it's over if it's over a hundred million people. We're going to create a formula here. So basically, we're, we're adding a new column. So I'm just going to put a formula. If, if this cell is over 100 million, then I'll say over 100 ma'am. So if it's not over 100 million, it'll be under. 100M. And I have to put that in quotes because it's text. Go ahead and close parentheses, control enter to stay in that cell. I'll go ahead and double click this down and it'll copy all the formulas down. All right. So now if I bring up the name manager and I click here, you'll see that it's now included this column D. Previously, it was just A, B, and C. Now it includes column D. Let me go ahead and close this. And if I go into this pivot table, you'll see that it only has those three columns. But let me go ahead and ref cut, refresh this. Because now that it's calling, it, it's calling country, and the country is dynamic, it's calling that country, which is that offset, which is that offset. If I refresh this, I'm going to right click it and go under refresh. You'll see now it picked it up. And then I can just bring it in somewhere. Over here or up here. Anything that's over hundred under over hundred million, we'll see those countries under hundred million. We'll see that. All right? So that's an example of that's an example of like when we add additional columns. Well what if we didn't have uh Let's say we remove some rows. Let me go ahead and maybe just cut that out. Put it into another sheet. And if we go into the name manager and click here, you can see that the dance ants have stopped and at row 431. And here if I refreshed it, oops, let me close that. No, um, cancel that. And go ahead and refresh this. You'll see the United States is gone. And so I didn't even have to change the reference in the pivot table. I didn't have to change the source because that name already, that name with that offset function took care of that. So this is kind of a nice way to reference a range of cells that may change, may increase or decrease their columns or their rows and you can apply it to a pivot table, you can apply it to charts, and they become dynamic when you change your source data. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.